let's talk turkey. It's Thanksgiving time and we all want to be able to feed our families a nice, very, very juicy, very, very delicious and beautiful bird for this time. But ain't nobody got time to be brining and most likely if you bought your turkey at the store for 88 cents a pound, it's already been brined anyway. Today we're going to be doing a no brine turkey on the Weber kettle, 22 inch Weber kettle. And uh, we're going to be doing it with a little bit of hickory smoke. So you're going to have a great flavor profile, some delicious bite through skin with a amazing color. Let me get my meat pulled out and I'll bring you in. I'd venture to say the biggest majority of people that are cooking a turkey this year are doing one very similar to this. It was frozen um, and probably close to a dollar a pound uh, because that's just normal. That's that's what normal people do. That's what everybody does for Thanksgiving is go buy a cheap frozen turkey and um, this is why we only eat turkey once a year. But this recipe that I'm going to be doing today, showing you how to do it, you're going to love it. And uh, you may even want to eat turkey more than once a year if you do them this way. Do it correctly and uh, really, really enjoy it. So we get this whipped out. This is an easy peel bag. No scissors needed, it says. So let's see how easy it is. Put your fingers in there. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 she's wet. So the first thing I'll do is uh, reach in the neck hole and grab out the prizes. There's there's prizes in these. Uh, first prize. That's probably heart and uh, all that good stuff. Let's see if we can find the neck here. Believe it or not, that's a neck. And really not a whole lot of trimming that's going to go on with these. Um, not a whole lot at all. For trimming. Your little uh, neck flap here. I trim about a third of it off because it will shrink up and I don't want to expose the breast. <laughs> um, so I'll trim about a third of it off. Trim the bottom portions. And then tuck that into the neck hole. Butt flap. Cut the butt flap off. Um, and I'll cook that separately with the neck because those are uh, pretty good little tasty treats. But yeah, this is, uh, this is your turkey. And uh, like I said, it's already been brined. 99% of the time, if it's frozen, it's been brined already. And um, the only thing I'm gonna do to it besides throw some rub on it is inject it. Now, this is a way to guarantee have a juicy turkey, even if you bought a turkey that isn't brined already. Um, these injections are absolutely delicious from Tony Saturies. And uh, I'm gonna pour about half of this into a bowl so I don't contaminate the whole bottle and get the syringe ready. And then I'm gonna show you how to inject into the turkey. Every bottle of Tony Saturies marinade comes with its own syringe. It's actually pretty decent. Um, I wouldn't recommend reusing it, but um, it works for your turkey. I like to load it from the bowl without the syringe on, completely fill it up, and start my injection. I actually do the breast last, and I do my legs first, the wings, and then thighs, and then breast. Just work my way around. And you wanna make sure that you're really getting up in there just like you would anything else, kind of make you a nice little cavity and really plump that bad boy up. See how I just, that whole thing just really plumped up. Really just, and that's all flavor. That's all flavor. Every bit of that is flavor. Don't worry about what runs out of it. We'll use that as a binder when we go to put our rub on. This Tony Saturies is absolutely delicious. Um, you're gonna love it. If you've never had it before, you're really missing out. Cause it is outstanding. Get this flipped over and do the thighs.
do the thighs and the wings from this side. Same thing on the other side. Kind of gives you an opportunity to really inspect the whole bird while you're doing that as well. Throw a little in there. Why not? Little, little back butt. All right. All right, now we're going to do the wings which is absolutely delicious, probably one of my favorite parts of a turkey. Uh, not necessarily the legs, but the wings for sure. And it's fast to fill these wings up with, with some, some injection. I mean, see how fast that plumps up? Oop, got a squirter. A little bit more. May dump out a little bit more from the bottle. Usually, a bottle will do almost two full turkeys. Depends on how full you pump them full of the uh, of the injection. But ah ah okay. So we're gonna get this flipped around. Yeah, it's a little bit more there. It's a little bit more there. All right, tits up. It's usually not a good thing. Uh, usually doesn't mean a good thing, but in this case, with this beautiful turkey, it's time to take this turkey from Jenny McCarthy to Dolly Parton status. Just a few injections. You're beautiful just how God made you, turkey. But I'm going to help you out. You can see just how plump that breast is compared to the other. Um, we're going to do the same thing over there. Get it nice and plumped up as well. You're almost matching, girl. Miss Parton, how are you today? So glad to have you for Thanksgiving. I love the work you've done. Nine to five was amazing. All right, so there's just a little bit left in our bowl. Just go ahead and dump it on there and uh, rub that on. We're going to use that as a binder to hold our rub on to the bird. So today we're going to be using Suckle Buster's Clucker Dust and uh, it's one by far my favorite poultry seasoning. We're just gonna do a heavy coat. Uh, why? Because we're seasoning the outside. Um, with every bite that you take, really the only flavor from the seasoning that you're gonna get is from the skin. So if we don't get that skin heavily flavored um, with this seasoning, you're not gonna taste this seasoning. So. Let's get it all the way around. I'm definitely going to taste the injection. It's definitely going to be flavorful, but you know what I mean. And again, I'm doing this over a pan because I'm going to catch all these droppings during the cook in the same pan so that we've got a nice little, uh, nice little au jus for the turkey. Hands behind your back, ma'am. Hands behind your back. Stop resisting. There we go. Let's hit this top part again. Fill in any voids we missed. And uh, I like to get a little bit down in the cavity there. Okay. This is going to have a beautiful color to it. And... Uh, we're just going to let this sit in the fridge for um, about 30 minutes or so while we're allowing the 
um, charcoal grill to get up to temperature. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get this placed in the fridge and then start the grill up. And uh, I'll show you how we're going to have that set up here in just a second. And we're back. Let's go ahead and get this uh, grill set up. We're using the Weber. As you can see, we've got our slow and sear in place. And uh, we're going to be using that. So we've got our B&B &B char logs in there and we've got a couple of chunks of hickory in there there's one there there's one down in there and there's one down in there and i'll be placing another one right there during the cook i've got some water getting heated up so we can go ahead and put it in the trough because we do want this to be a very moist environment so let me get the torch on there and i'm going to light it from this end right here so you see here we're lighting our char logs at one corner, kind of like a minion method uh, with our char logs here in the slow and sear. And this is a great method to use with this grill because uh, you can really do long, slow, controlled cooks this way. So I'm going to get that burnt down. I'm going to get some hot water and pour it in the trough. And when this is ready, I'll show you how we'll set up our turkey so that we can have an even, clean, smoke-touched bite through skin, moist turkey. See you in just a few minutes. So our grill is up to temp, I'm sitting right around 275. I've got the bottom closed off to about 60% open, or two thirds of the way open. And the top uh, is, I guess, equivalent to two-thirds of the way open. I've got a thermometer in one of the holes, and it's slightly closed off just to tighten that down. So, uh, you know, somewhere 66, 75 percent open. And uh, that should let this grill ride between 275 and 300 this entire cook. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. And uh, we're going to get our turkey placed on there. I'm going to bring you in so that you can see how I place the turkey with the pan underneath it to catch those drippings so that we have a beautiful, delicious au jus to set it in when it's done. So uh, come on, let's get a little closer and see how we set up. Okay guys, so you can see that we've placed the pan down below. Our slow and sears over here and we've got some nice hot water in the slow and sear to keep a little bit of moisture in it. I'm going to place the turkey on this side, go ahead and cover it up and we're gonna check on it in about 45 minutes. Place the turkey right over the pan and we're gonna spin the turkey every 45 minutes this way. Make sure the heat is hitting it evenly. I'm gonna go ahead and open up the top, throw a hickory chunk in there. So we can go ahead and get some smoke started. All right, we're gonna get this closed down Come back in 45 minutes. All right, folks, it's been right around 45 minutes. Our grill is sitting at 300 degrees, and it's time for us to slide it around. You can see that the, uh, the turkey's getting a little bit of color there, and uh, we're just gonna go ahead and take and spin it uh, 180 degrees all the way around to so make sure that the color is even on both sides. And to keep it moist and to make sure there's good flavor and all that good stuff on it, keep it from burning, let me go ahead and hit it with a spritz of a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter. And I'll show you a little trick to keep the heat from hitting it slamming it directly from the side. I'm going to put some wood blocks in there just to kind of help deflect that heat um, off the side of the turkey. Keep it from getting too hot too fast. And we're going to keep an eye on this every 45 minutes. We're going to be checking it and um, if it starts to get too dark or something like that we'll go ahead and wrap it up in some foil, tint it in some foil and keep that uh, Keep that flame from kissing it too too much but let me go ahead and get some blocks put in there and it's going to help kind of uh, keep that heat from directly affecting it and that flame will go down as soon as i put the lid on okay. 
Easy peasy. Color's just where we want it. Just over three hours in, and we're temping at 165 at the breast, 170, 175 in the thighs. Got plenty of fire left. We're gonna go ahead and get our turkey off. We're gonna get wrapped up to rest. And while we're doing that, we're gonna take all that good stuff beneath the turkey, and we're gonna mix it with some butter and make some delicious au jus to rest the meat in. Before we slice into this amazing turkey, let's go ahead and talk about how we got here three and a half hours ago. We started by opening the package, taking everything out of the turkey, and injecting the turkey with our Tony Tatchery's Creel Butter. We started with our legs, did the extremities, worked our way from the thighs to the breast, and got her nice and thick. Then we covered her up with our Suckle Buster's Clucker Dust, gave a great coating using the excess injection as a binder. From there, we got our Weber kettle up to temperature between 275 to 300 degrees using our BMB lump charcoal char logs. We did throw some hickory lumps in there to allow it to give us some good smoke flavor and texture. And every 45 minutes, we would take the turkey and spin it head over heels, not, not head over heels, but 180 degrees and then hit it with a spritz of, I can't believe it's not butter. Now, the whole time, we had a pan underneath it, catching all those drippings, the uh, seasonings that fell off, all that good stuff. And at the three hour mark, we tempted it. It was 165 at the breast, 170 to 175 at the thigh. And we added a couple of sticks of butter to that pan of drippings. We got a little bit of it ladled out, and I think it makes for an amazing au jus sauce. For your turkey, our turkey's been resting. It's time. Unwrap it, slice it up, give it a try. Turkeys are notorious for drying out, especially in the breasts. Now, nobody likes a dried out breast. Everybody likes it nice, plump, and full of juice. So let's cut into it and see how she does. Oh, it cuts like absolute butter. I mean, absolute butter. Pretty hot. Oh boy, she is wet. Let's see if you can see that. Man, she is glistening. I may not even have to dip it in anything at all. I'm going to take it, cut me off a little bite because, oh, it smells delicious. Smoke ring there. Man. Mmm. Mmm. You immediately get that savory and sweet flavor from. Suckle Busters, but you get that kick of Creole flavoring from the inside, the injection from Tony Satchery's. You get the smoke. Wow. I guarantee your family wouldn't be mad about this kind of turkey if you made it this way every year, every, every day. Hell, y'all eat uh, turkey more than just Thanksgiving if you made them like this. Let's take a dip in our au jus. Oh, 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 money. From Brisket Medic's family, cheers. We hope that you have an amazing Thanksgiving. We hope that you realize how blessed you are to live here in America. No matter what our differences are, we're still the best country in the world, and we can all love each other. Be thankful for something. Get outside and cook something. And remember, as always, drink more water. Oh, and if you can do me a favor, it's the holidays after all. Hit that like. Subscribe. Leave me a comment down below. Love you guys. Happy holidays.